I love this story. But it does not look like it. Let me tell you the title of the story. The title of today's story is My Brother's Wife is Using Jazz on Him. Mm hmm Okay, calm down. Before you begin to pick all those stones, before you begin to throw stones at me, you need to calm down with the stones. another week and you're welcome to Life Stories with Busi. I wish you all the best this week. I know that last week's video didn't do so well. It's not just been for the something views and I'm like what is happening? Why are people watching? What's happening? I thought the arrangement was that you view, you refer to other people and then it goes like that. You know like a pyramid scheme like one person shows two people, two people shows four people, you know like that kind of thing. <laughs> I thought that was what we were doing. I would always be here. I'm going to hold on to the part of my deal. And the part of my deal is that I'll continue to be here. But you need to encourage me because sincerely shooting and editing is a lot of work. And so when, you know, I get there and I'm seeing something views, I'm like, ah, what's happening? You know, please don't just view. Comment, comment, actually comment. Eh? Drop your comment. Share the link of our video with your friends and loved ones. Let them also share with friends and loved ones. Please do that. Please, please, please. Very important. The algorithm works with all those things. And so, if you're not viewing, if you're not engaging, it doesn't push the video to a lot of people. But once you begin to watch, people are referring the video and all. The algorithm believes that it's something for people to watch. So please, don't just watch. Don't just view engage leave a comment even if your comment is solar well done i like it like that <laughs> okay thank you very much so today i have an interesting story i love the story but it does not look like it let me tell you the title of the story the title of today's story is my brother's wife is using jazz on him mm -hmm. okay calm down before you begin to pick all those stones before you begin to throw stones at me you need to calm down with the stone just hold on first with those stones just hold those stones eh? don't throw it yet just hold it on till the end of the story then you decide whether you want to throw the stones or not okay is that a deal okay hello Busi. someone shared your channel with me and i'd like to share this interesting story of my brother and his wife who bewitched him mm -hmm. calm down still hold those stones don't throw them yet just calm down we're going somewhere <laughs> so this is the story my brother timmy has always been quiet we are four siblings and he's the eldest he was always in his room reading or listening to music while we we're growing up is the definition of a true nerd we didn't bother him much he was kind to us and we all respected him timmy has only been with two women in his life and the second one is his current wife First, there was Mo, his childhood sweetheart and first love. He adored Mo, bought her gifts, and we all saw how much he cared for her. But he never confessed his feelings. To so Mo, they were best friends. We urged Timmy to tell her how he felt, but by the time he did, Mo was already in a relationship with another man, whom she eventually married. Timmy was heartbroken. He held out hope for a long time that Mo would come back, but Mo got married and he remained single, focusing on his career and business. Our parents tried setting him up with various women, but none worked. Things didn't work out with Mo and her husband. When Mo's marriage ended, we thought that Timmy would seize the opportunity to rekindle their relationship. He visited us several times and were hopeful. Our family loved Mo. However, it turned out that his visits were more about spending time with Mo's cousin, Ashley. Mm. Ashley wasn't Timmy's type by any stretch of imagination. She had tattoos, nose rings, and a carefree style that contrasted sharply with Timmy's meticulous and scholarly demeanor. She was also a school dropout and a single mother. Despite this, Timmy fell in love with her, more to her disbelief. Mo had mentioned that in the past, Ashley had boasted that she could have any man that she wanted. And so that led us to believe that she had bewitched Timmy. 
Ashley was an orphan and she was raised by Mo's parents. And even when they waited in, Ashley refused to leave Timmy. <laughs> Our own parents and Timmy didn't see eye to eye on this matter. My mother sought prophecies from various churches and all of them claimed that Timmy was spiritually imprisoned by Ashley. <laughs> Against everyone's wishes, Timmy married Ashley at a registry without informing any of us. He was 34 and Ashley was 26. Everyone was angry, but they didn't care. The worst part was when we started seeing our brother at parties, actually dancing and enjoying himself in public, cracking jokes. Brother Timmy, it was like a sacrilege. My brother, an extreme introvert, had become an extrovert. They didn't have a child for five years into that marriage and we're so sure that it was the universe backing us up and setting up a way for my brother to realize that he married wrong. No, their relationship worked so strong to our shame. My brother pampered Ashley and her daughter like eggs. You would think that Ashley's daughter was his biological child. My parents insulted Ashley many times and my brother banned us from coming to his house. That action made us more convinced that she had her brother imprisoned in a bottle. <laughs> Ashley tried to be our friend, but we all rejected her. One day, she came to my parents' house with food stuff. My mother walked her out, threw all the things she brought out, and told her never to step into her house again. She even called her all sorts of names and a witch who had bewitched her son. I was there that day, and I supported that move. There was even a time that my mother urged Mo to reclaim Timmy by any means necessary, advising her to seduce him. Mm. They orchestrated a plan and my brother went to the apartment under the pretense that my mother needed to see him. When he arrived, he found Mo, who attempted to seduce him. Mm. Despite her effort, my brother refused, earning him the nickname Joseph ever since. <laughs> my brother was almost 40 when they had their first child and my parents had no choice than to go for the naming. They admitted that they had never seen a couple so besotted with each other like Timmy and Ashley. It's time when my mother remarked, is it just me or is Ashley getting more beautiful by the day? Hmm. After that, they had a set of twins boys and at this point, my parents, especially my mother, had relaxed a stance on Ashley. When my mother started visiting more frequently, she was shocked to realize that we judged Ashley wrongly. She discovered that Ashley had the most beautiful heart. She was someone that could use love to choke you. She respected my brother, teased him, and encouraged him to try new things. Ashley will often say to our mother, Mommy, you know that I don't have a mother. You are my mother and you have no way to throw me. My mother will respond and say something like, Everybody see me. Ashley has given me love portion. No. Hmm. It's difficult for you to hate her when you get to know her. My mother said that Ashley is strong and vulnerable at the same time. Ashley can empty a wardrobe for you and not shy away from telling you the truth. Yes. She made bad choices earlier in life, but she learned from it and she used her past as a stepping stone to her future. Even my other sister-in-law had to ask Ashley to cut soap for her because before my mother says two sentences, she would have mentioned Ashley ten times. Last week was her 20th wedding anniversary. And we all can say that Ashley is the best thing that happened to our brother, Timmy. At the celebration of their 20th anniversary last week, we learned a lot. We didn't know that Ashley actually told Timmy initially that she wouldn't want to put a wedge in his family and would rather walk away, but Timmy wouldn't hear of it. We also heard Timmy say that from the first day he met her, she was the first person who really saw him for who he really was. It was so easy to connect to Ashley, hence is falling in love with her. The truth was, my brother wasn't truly an introvert. He had witnessed a time when our parents used to fight intensely, with our father seriously beating up our mother. He would always sneak to read in the night when the lights were out, and our parents would think that we were sleeping, not knowing that Timmy saw many of those incidents. It really affected him. 
Ashley was the first person he ever confided in, and she did everything she could to draw him out of his shell. They both influenced each other positively. Timmy encouraged that to go back to school, and you could see his influence in the way she dresses. Today, Ashley runs one of the most successful travel agencies and gets the people who are touring the world courtesy Ashley, my parents. I don't think my brother would have blossomed with Mo. Though, Mo thinks otherwise because she believes that she made a big mistake not marrying Timmy initially. She suffered two divorces and she's content living as a single mother for now. Maybe things would have been different. Who knows? Life is unpredictable. She's still a family friend. Sometimes I think about all those prophecies that we received in the churches my mother visited. None of them were positive. Yet, here we are, celebrating 20 years of a beautiful marriage. Maybe we're all bewitched by Ashley's charm. Ashley actually introduced me to your channel and I know that she will see this. Congratulations to Timmy and Ashley. Ashley, if you see this, know that we love you. Okay, so you still want to throw your stones? Okay, put the stones down. Yes, you can see that there's no reason for stones. What this story just says to us is that we should not judge a book by its cover. Not all the time. You cannot just look at the book cover and look at the back and judge the book whether it will be interesting or not sometimes you need to go through the book to be able to conclude you get it ashley and timmy congratulations i wish you more blissful years ahead thank you ashley for introducing your sister-in-law to my channel i really appreciate that guys don't you think that this is a beautiful story i love stories like this stories like this get me all the time look at all the things that ashley had to go through because they judged her with her looks because they judged her because she had a tattoo and things she had nose rings and all that and nobody saw the good heart that she had initially i'm sure initially they thought to themselves ah this one is a gold digger who wants to come and dig you know gold with our brother's house something like that but it turns out like ashley has a very good heart it turns out that ashley is a beautiful human and they have all come to realize that and imagine that she's now comparing and saying that oh thank god their brother did not marry Mo, that their brother did not marry Mo, that their brother ended with ashley these were things that they were not talking about initially i love love i love good stories i love stories like these stories that encourage you to know that love triumphs like you know when people are actually in love, there is nothing they cannot do. There is no mountain that they cannot surmount. There is nothing that they cannot achieve together. And so kudos to Timmy and Ashley. I really, really love the story. I love the fact that they walk through this marriage. I love the fact that even though their parents did all sorts of things, you know, their siblings did all sorts of things to bash them. So many things. Imagine them setting up more to seduce Timmy. Even with all these things and all that, they work this marriage together and it's 20 years and they are celebrating 20 years despite all the things that they have been through. I want to commend Timmy for being a fantastic husband. Thank you for being such a fantastic husband to Ashley. And thanks to Ashley for loving your husband's family despite what they have done to you in the past. This is just maturity oozing out of Ashley. Some other people will be like, I oh, know, I don't want them more. They did this to me, they did that to me. But look at what they said. Our sister law said something like, Ashley can choke you with love. You know, as in, she just wanted them to love her. And she went all the way. And then she showed them love. Even when they rejected her, even when they threw their things at her, the th whatever name they call her, everything that they did to her, she didn't think about it. She didn't look at that. She kept on, you know, working towards making sure that they loved her. And they were able to see because they saw their brother change. They saw their brother change. Imagine that Timmy had a traumatic childhood experience that nobody knew. And because of that, he went to be an introvert. And nobody knew. And he had to take Ashley to come to help him, to draw him out. Fantastic woman. Congratulations to you both. I wish you all the best. Guys, what do you think about this story? I love, 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 love. What do you think about this story? I'll be in the comment section. Please help me to wish Ashley and Timmy a happy married life. Remember that Ashley is one of my viewers and then she even got her sister-in-law for me. Uh -uh. Thank you very much, Ashley. Guys, help me to wish Ashley and Timmy a happy married 
life. So next week when I come your way again, my name remains the Celebrity David. Bye.